Welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? Ah, can you dig it? All right, 2003 Hyundai Santa Fe. What I'm about to do today is show you how to replace the coil boots, all right? This vehicle has two coils, two ignition wires, and two boots. A lot of time when you get a misfire, especially on uh, the, like the coils on this, it's only those two and four. If you get a misfire, the person's gonna autom automatically assume it's the coil. That's not necessarily the case. You can change the boots, all right? You should, you should definitely know that about these coils. All right, um, check out the other video. Um, this is the fix a P0302, all right? Um, same vehicle, check it out, how we diagnose it. And I'm gonna show you the, um, the spark trail on this one also, the old boot. All right, the first thing you wanna do is uh, remove the four 10 millimeter screws on the cup. So I got those loose already. Pop that cover right off, set it to the side. And then, let's get a good look over here. Oh yeah, that's a good one. All right. Then what we're gonna do is remove this center cover. You're gonna have one, two, three, four 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, this one only has three. What? That's good. And remember how these brackets go. What I'm gonna do is set these brackets up to the side as as I take them off so I know which side they go on. This one, if you don't notice that one over there, that's all I did was loosen it and swing it to the side. All right, let's take off this cover. Now you have your two coils on cylinders number two and four, and each of these coils have a wire going um, to it, to the other cylinder. Like I said, we had a misfire for this cylinder right here. Number two. So, what we got here is a little plug. Squeeze that connector in, the tab, and unplug that coil, just like that. And, um, matter of fact, we're gonna be changing both of them. I'm not so sure about it. So, let's back this up a little bit. And what we're going to do is unplug this one also. And what we're going to do here is pull off this wire. Leave that right there. And then we're going to pull off this core wire. Leave that right there. Now it's a good time to change your wires in case it, in case they were bad, but these are good. We have done these um, a few months ago. Um, all right, now you got four 10 millimeter screws. One, two, three, four, two for each coil. So you're going to just Take all four of those out. All right, take those four screws out, put them to the side, and join me when you're done. All four screws are the same size, so you ain't gotta worry about that. Now, what you want to do is make sure everything's out of the way, twist the coil a little bit, and it's going to be kind of hard to pop up, and actually this one came off, that's good, I'm going to set that to the side, and get this one, and this one came up. Now in my other video, just like you, you uh, you're going to check it out, you see how the, see how it is, see that spark trail right there, that's coming up right out of there. That spark was leaning right to the side was causing that misfire. So we're gonna be replacing the boot. Now right now, usually they just sell you the coil just like that. <laughs> uh, don't let them get you like that. All right, so now we got one stuck over here. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can pull it by hand first. Best way, and of course not. So I'm gonna get me a pair of pliers and all something. We're gonna twist it and pull that out. Right back. All right, what I got here, got me a pair. Need a little supplies. It don't matter how these that little spring in there, you ain't gotta worry about that. The new one will come with it. So I'm gonna grab it in here and twist this and 
pull that right out of there. All right, hail spring is still in there. All right, here's our new parts. These are intermotor. What is this? SPP 63 Edward. All right, let's open up one of these and show you what we got here. And as you can see, they come with the new boot and they come with the new spring inside. Now both both ends of the springs are the same, so it doesn't matter how you uh, hook that up, all right? So let me set this camera up and we're gonna do one for you. Right back. Okay, here we go. Let's grab our number four coil. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna set that. And just like I said, it doesn't matter which end you set in. I'm gonna set that in like that. Get our new boot, place it over it, and you want to squeeze that boot down till it goes over that little lip, just like that. All right, and what we're going to do here, we're going to set that one down in there. As you can see, the spring don't come out. Let's set that back down in there. Get our two 10 millimeter bolts. And we're going to leave that just like that for now. Let's go to our next one. Make sure you can see this now. Okay, we got our old one. We're going to just pull that off. That stays in there. Or well, you can come out just like that. We ain't got to worry about that. Get our coil. Put the spring in it, get our boot, push down on it, lock, go down till it locks over that little lip. Done. Let's get this one down there. All right. Get our two 10 millimeter bolts. You know, and when, it's funny, when you order wires for this vehicle, it won't come with them boots. So if you got to change wires, you make sure you change those also. Ask for them. Don't let, don't let them talk you out of saying, no, there's no such thing and all. <laughs> all right. So let's tighten up our coil bolts. They're not super tight, so, you know, because going into aluminum, it's not a lot of... They ain't gonna like they're gonna vibrate loose. All right. Get our connectors. Plug them up. Plug our coil wires to the other cylinders. And just that easy. Make sure these wires are out of the way. Make sure they're good. Everything is good. Set our cover back on it. things across, get our other bracket up here, get our bolts, 10 millimeter bolts, so it's basically a simple job to fix that, let's tighten those down, Got a bolt missing over here, so I'm just gonna bring that down to line it up. Okay, just like that. Now what I'm gonna do? Let's get our cover back on it. Put our 10 millimeter bolts back in it. Get them all lined up. Whatever they may be. We're gonna ratchet.
again, these bolts up here are not super tight all either, just like that cover and the valve cover. There you have it. Yes. No job well done by Astral. <laughs> Alright, there you go how to change it. Um, any questions? Feel free to comment. Again. Go check out the other video, another video on this, PO302, where we use it, we saw we diagnosed this. And we saw that that, that uh, mark out of there. It's pretty quite evident. This is Timmy from Astro Auto Repairs. Do I need to say it? I mean, y'all should be used to that by now. <laughs> Alright, fine for you newbies out there. If we can't repair it, nobody can. Take it easy.